All right, this video is on Shakespeare antennas and some other ones to go right along with it. Um, if you own one of these, uh, you probably know if you trailer it back and forth, the majority of your life, your antenna stays like this, down. Keep the wind tearing it up and everything else flying by on your way home. And plus, when you get home, it stays like this. A couple small issues here with these. And right here is one of them on your mouth. Got this nice little hole here. I don't know if you can see it or not there and water gets in there and I'll show you what the result of this is in just a second okay we're in the shop now and to give you an idea this is an older antenna here but it's actually the same length as the one that's brand new beside it here right there the biggest problem with these is water build up on the inside of them uh, see here some of them actually come with a small grommet here to keep the water out uh, after a period of time they do decay <clears throat> the hole I pointed to earlier on the mount itself leads through here and back up into side from the side here up and into here sorry about that and what happens is water builds up in here over a period of time and when next thing is it starts dry rotting so there you go you have a dry rotted antenna but, uh, this is what your antenna is actually made up of especially one wire it's fed all the way up through here <laughs> And it's cut to a certain length, so it can be used on a certain frequency. But uh, if you're planning on replacing uh, or putting a new antenna on, I highly recommend maybe putting a little bit of silicone down in the hole here. Just far enough down in there to kind of seal things off so the water doesn't build in it. I normally try to do right in this area here on the new antenna. Sealing this area off here basically. This still free here. You put a little sealant there if you want to. It's up to you. But uh, that keeps it from being so bad dry rotted on the inside and breaking up. Next thing you know, this is all messed up here as well. The connection is just from sitting in the water all the time. It holds up for a while, but a couple years it's pretty well over after that. Uh, if you're ordering a new antenna, this is basically what it's supposed to look like when it's new. Box when you get it. I highly recommend that you go buy one. From a store you getting these in the mail is pretty impossible for every two that you order one of them is going to be destroyed when i mean destroyed now that you take a good close look this actually came in from fedex with a different antenna in it antenna was destroyed on the inside of it as well they made sure that I got it just like this too as well. So just a little helpful hint there. 